Hello, 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 hello. I thought I would try to beat the wind by putting my hair in a ponytail. What do you think? So, before we lose light here, I want you to come in with one of the things that I hear a lot. I hear it from clients. I hear it from other entrepreneurs. I even hear it from some people who come to talk to me for my services as clients. And that is, well, I don't know. I don't know, maybe next time I have to think about it. I know I need to do that. I really do, but I don't know if I want to spend the money. She's a little bit cheaper. I don't know. Can I learn it from a magazine? Can I do that? And here's the thing. If you're not going to be generous with yourself, if you're not going to be able to give yourself permission to do what you know you need to do, how can you expect others to come to you and give themselves permission to work with you? How can you expect others to come to you and be generous with you if you can't do it to your Self. And I know it's a problem with a lot of women business owners, particularly, that they're just afraid to do something that's face value, that, that is face value in the thing that people see, people know, people understand. They seem to think that if they can hide behind all these tactics and hide behind all these strategies and hide behind all this bullshit stuff that they think they need, that they can continue to ignore and not tackle what they need more than anything. And that is how they show up, how they stand out, how they're not a commodity, how they are their own special superstar, how they have a brand that stands apart, that's separated, that's not a copycat brand from others, but is really authentic and real to them. So that's something that in one sense is kind of an untangible, right? It's untangible. What makes the sky, the sky behind me beautiful right now, right? Okay. It's the colors, it's the sunset, it's the trees, but still it's it's an you know how is it one and not the other it's not something you could put your hands on i can't promise you that if you stand in front of the sunset you're going to make you know 10 million dollars on your next on your next sales call. But if somebody is selling you a tactic or a strategy, they can try to give you some hard facts, true or otherwise. And it seems to make sense. Well, if I said, mate, if I only sell $1,027 products in a month, that means I could passively make $72 in a year. And oh my God, that sounds really good. That, you know, I'm just throwing those numbers out of my batone. So anyway, the point is that a lot of the times it's this very untangible stuff that you can't put your finger on that is exactly, exactly what you're missing in your business to stand out. It's the stuff that makes you special. So every time you know, oh, I really know I need to get a stylist. I learn, need to learn how to dress myself. Oh, I really need to learn how to, I didn't take the price tag off that. Oh, <gasps> busted. I got to go get a scissor so it doesn't do it again. I know. It's funny, right? <coughs> I want to edit that out. I actually put this new sweater on and didn't cut the tag out. So anyway, I know, I know I need to look, dress better. I know I need to really strengthen my personal brand. Oh my God. I know I need a new website. Oh my God. I know I need to be able to get new photos. Oh, I keep using the same photo. Is it okay? I know I need to really be able to brand myself so I look better. I don't know if I want to hire someone now. I don't know. I know I need to do it. I know, I know, I know. Well, if you know you need to do it, you gotta just go and do it for God's sakes, right? So the only way that you could separate yourself to stand out, the only way that you can actually develop a brand that resonates with people, that goes above the masses, that has star power, is if you know you got to do this stuff, you just go do it. Sometimes it's just not the outfit, it's the mindset, you know? Sometimes it's not going to the branding photographer or the Sears Big Box corporate photo kind of shoot, but it's knowing how to come across on camera. It's knowing how to position yourself. That's today's new currency. It's just knowing all those pro tips that give you the ability to just be the best that's being you and attract the kind of audience that you want to attract when you want to attract them. So you can earn what you deserve. You can make more money and you can look aspirational and stand in your expertise rather than look like 
<sighs> she's really smart, but she's kind of boring. I don't know. Let me go to that other pro. Who is that again? You don't want to do that. So if you want to learn how to become an authentic superstar, you want to learn how to stand in your star power, stand above the ma masses in this super crowded, saturated, crazy, busy market, let me help you. Go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. Challenge is five days. Spend it with me, and I will see you there. If you find value in this video, don't forget share it with a friend and put the notifications on so the next time I go live you're here and we can chat see you soon bye do you want to see the sunset it's like freaking awesome right wow how beautiful should I just let you sit there for a minute like how beautiful really right how beautiful that's pretty nice too but there's the sunset awesome See you later.